Welcome back to this lecture system demo for SAP Actual Cost Posting. This content again designed by myyug.com. In case of your question or query, you should be able to send us a message through the messaging services. Now let's look at what is SAP Actual Cost Posting. What are the expenses? How do we post expenses? There's a couple of ways we can post expenses. configuration and T codes so that's nothing really we configure something here but yes that these are the manual way of doing or posting expenses one we can do SCAF entry where we can just define uh, in KB 31 N and it will post it to respective cost centers another way is direct activity allocation we can allocate certain activity to uh, certain receivers for example if we have machine hours posted to a different cost center and we wanted and that cost center is serviced by three different sub cost centers and we wanted po to be post those cost to respective cost centers so we wanted to allocate those activities for example machine one spent 30 hours producing three different products so three different cost centers is serviced by that machine hour so we wanted those machine hours to be distributed among those three cost centers so we can able we can able to do that in direct activity allocations. So we're gonna show uh, how it works in SAP system in a moment. Let's see. Here, let's go to T code KB thirty one N slash N KB thirty one N. Okay. Here, there is couple of varieties ways or varieties things available here you can allocate as I said you can allocate SKF entry to different cost objects cost center order person number sales order cost object for example if you have a project and you the cost center services shared by those costs you can have that WBS element or network this is projects or project or order in this case, I'll select cost center. So my receiving cost center will be 100,000. Statistical key figure, I'll select the machine. Uh, I'll select the 10. Total quantity, so 10%. So let's say 10% of my uh, so it, it went there. You can you can type in a reference document number, like you'll have one. FI document posted for example any cost any expenses you'll have one FI document posted this is you are further bifurcating by allocating by entering a separate statistical key figure to deallocate or reallocate the cost posted in FI so you wanted to do the, for example if it is 100 percent you wanted to post 10 percent to this cost center reference test hit enter so you can hit the button here save and it will post irrespective of date it will post so document is posted under certain document number okay now let's look at the second method the second method direct activity allocation the T code for that is KB21N. So let's see what it looks like in SAP system. It's pretty similar, a little different. 21N. Here what we are doing is we are deallocating or reallocating the activity hours. For example, if we take an example of machine hours, in a in a particular machine, we spend 30 hours producing three different products for three different cost centers so we want those three different cost center to be allocated appropriately so here we'll have sender cost center okay so center cost center for example this is the main cost center which all those activities posted activity type so we'll type one 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 which is machine hours and we want it to receiving cost centers 
so we can select different cost center probably I'll select this one and total quantity how many hours you want from this cost center to that cost center I, I would say okay 50 percent or 50 hours so the unit of measure will automatically pop up based on whatever we have defined here if it is hour it will come up hour see here yes so in that way we we, we allocated we allocated different different center cost center receiving cost center and we can add n number of columns then we save this this is an example probably it may save or it may not but it should it should save yeah so that is a document number generated and it posted it is posted to the SAP so this is about how direct activity allocation works in SAP actual expenses posting I hope you guys are practicing so far and coming along with me again this content is designed by myyug.com if you guys have any questions or queries you should be able to send us message through the messaging system thank you for watching this demo